Hi right, everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to be trying to put up some sort of brassica cage um, to protect my brassicas from the cabbage white butterfly. <laughs> um, you know the caterpillars from that, um, once they're on there, they just munch the whole lot. Um, if you remember last year, um, I had a really bad problem and I ended up just giving up on the brassicas altogether. Um, so uh, this year I'm going to try and put up some sort of protection so some sort of netting uh, frame netting and I'm going to try and put it in the middle of this bed here um, that's the only area I can really see where I can get it uh, so um, I'll get back to you in a sec guys and I'll show you what I'm up to okay so this is where I decided to put it uh, you can see the uh, bamboo that I've put in there uh, so I'll just go grab a, a panel um, that I've made. And so what I'm thinking is net this whole area off here. Um, so I'm going to need six of these. Uh, four for the sides and two for the roof. And um, I made these uh, last year when the chickens were in lockdown um, it's just four bits of wood screwed together and I've stapled on this is debris netting uh, so I'll show you a close up of that and then uh, we'll try and we'll make a start and see if we can get these up okay so um, these are really simple simple design and it's just four bits of this two by one uh, wood and I just screwed screwed them on there and I stapled the netting onto the outside uh, I might need to come along and repair some of these gaps uh, just put some more staples in because uh, this was just designed to keep the chickens in when they were uh, in the lockdown because of this avian flu uh, but that's over now so I've dismantled the um, run and I'm going to use some of the panels to make a brassica caged area here so I'm going to do this whole area square and then I can plant my brassicas in there and whatever else I decide to put in there and then the potatoes and that can go down there and probably some of them up this end as well. Uh, so anyway, I'll get the camera sorted out and we make a start putting this together. Okay guys, I'm about to make a start putting this together. Um, it's going to be quite difficult to do this. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to hold these up, uh, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pre-drill the holes because this wood's really thin and it will split if you don't pre-drill your holes. So, oh, get that one out of the way. I'm going to have to do it that way around, uh, otherwise there'll be a gap. Uh, that bit will leave a gap if I do it the other way. So. Do it this way, and then it will screw through into the other panel. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find a way to get this to stay up whilst I do it. So, that's the idea, we just drill through there and screw through these two, if I'm lucky that'll stay there, and so, I'm just using these 50 millimeter screws, uh, cause that's what I've got at the moment, uh, so I'm going to pre-drill the hole through here and secure the corner 
I won't go through that knot. I'll go above it. So that's that corner done. So I won't bother recording all of it. Uh, but I'll take over and show you. I'll just put one screw through there for now. And that should keep that still. So I'll do the other sides. And then I'll put some more screws in once I've got the general shape of it. Uh, so I'll probably put the time lapse on. Uh, rather than bore you with the whole thing, because it's going to be the same on each corner. I'm just going to do probably three screws, one in the middle, one in the bottom, one in the top, all the way around. And then I'll come back to you before I start the roof. All right, guys, uh, so that's the, the last screw in there. Uh, so we've got the basic outside of the frame done. Uh, so I've got to go get a couple more panels. Um, we'll just put two across for the roof. Uh, so uh, that was quite awkward to do whilst uh, trying to hold it and drill the holes in that. And there's a bit of a mound in the middle of this bed. So we'll have to level it off a bit and try and get it nice and flat. Uh, but uh, we'll get the roof on. Uh, it's really light wood, I can lift that with one finger, so uh, if I need to get in there, I can just lift it up like that, and then put it back down again, and hopefully that will protect my plants from the dreaded cabbage white butterfly, because um, they come in, they lay all their eggs, and then you get hundreds and hundreds of caterpillars, and uh, they just decimate the whole crop pretty much. So last year I lost basically all my brassicas to the cabbage white caterpillars. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll go get some more panels and we'll make a start on the roof. Okay guys, so um, luckily I didn't actually take this one apart. So uh, we've got two here which are still together, so that's handy. So, just put the netting on the inside, and hopefully, it should fit perfectly on there. I'll just bring you over and show you. Uh, these two were left together uh, from when it was a chicken run. Uh, so just going to pop that on the top and screw that down. And I might need another small bit of netting or something to fill in this gap. Um, we'll figure it out. Uh, hopefully they won't get in through there anyway. But no, me they will. So I probably will put another little bit of netting over there. Uh, we've got plenty of this netting. Uh, this was the scaffolders debris netting. Uh, it was about £25 for 50 metres by 2 metre roll of it. So that's not too pricey. Uh, so anyway, um, get the camera set up again and we'll get the roof on. Okay, so I've made a start putting the roof on, but as you can see we have a problem there. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to change the design slightly. Uh, so I'm going to take these buttons off of here and here. And to close up this gap as well, if I move everything along, I'll put them down in between. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. On the other side, I've already made a start doing it. Uh, so I'll take this one off. And rather than it being on top like that, uh, we'll put it on the inside. And I'll have to take the net off, so we'll have to staple that back onto there. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, so it's not, not too much of a, an adaption. But, so the gaps like that were fine for the chickens, but obviously if I leave a gap like that, the butterflies will probably still get in, so it'd be kind of pointless. So I might as well make it sealed. Uh, so I'll get that done guys, and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay guys, uh, so uh, here's the finished product. So we had to, to mess around um, adapt the roof panels. Uh, only ever so slightly, I just took them off. Uh, luckily this net's quite stretchy, so just had to cut a bit off and move them out a little bit so there wasn't any gaps. Um, but, so that's that done. Um, as I said, uh, it's really lightweight, and I can get in there, lift that up, I can lift that up with one finger. So it's just two by one wood, and I've just nailed the debris net in, uh, stapled it on. And hopefully that will protect my brassicas from the dreaded cabbage white. So anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you found it useful. Uh, so um, thanks so much for watching uh, if you uh, could subscribe that would be great and give the thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you on the next episode guys I'll be planting out my potatoes and putting some brassicas into the brassica cage so thanks so much for watching see you next time